Welcome to Daffodil Peak, home of the legendary Mountain Sage. A Mountain Sage? That's one of those guys who knows everything, right? Amazing. Did you hear that, Mario? If this guy really is a wise old sage, he must know where to find the paint stars. Let's climb this mountain and meet the Mountain Sage. Cool idea, but you'll need a climbing permit before I can let you climb the mountain. Head through the gate to your right and buy a permit from the park ranger. You'll find him in his cabin. Here, I'll open the gate. What's with this place? Mood seems kind of gloomy. Is this the park ranger that the gatekeeper mentioned? Maybe he's one of those emo types. Oh, hey, need a climbing permit? Yes, sir. We like to climb Daffodil Peak and meet the mountain sage. Yeah, look, I'm sorry, but I'm not really in the mood. My cabin is a rag. Vandals broke in and drained the color everywhere. I'm too depressed to do my job. We understand. These colorless spots are a real downer. I'd be depressed too. Mario, this guy really is bringing me down. Think we can fix this place up a bit? Oh, scrap, this is an unfurl block. Hitting an unfurl block grants you the power to unfurl certain objects, but only for a limited time. While your unfurl power is active, just hammer things that bear the unfurl mark to, well, unfurl them. Come to think of it, wasn't there something with this same mark inside the cabin? Oh, this is my favorite chair. Somehow it must have gotten folded up into a, into a plain old box. Nice unfurling, Mario. But they must have also drained the color from it. What a shame. It was my favorite chair ever. Why harm a defenseless doormat, Vandals? Just a little more. Please do something. Woo, my cabin, I can't believe it. Mario, you fixed my place. Thanks so much. My heart and my cabin are back to their bright, happy selves. And as, thank, as, and as a thank you here. Take this climbing permit. They usually run you a pretty penny, but this one's on the house, so to speak. Wonderful. Thanks, sir. Glad we could help. I actually feel a lot better, too.
Ah, you got a climbing permit. I'm a bit surprised you got one, considering the park ranger has been rather down in the dumps. Anyway, let me start by... Anyway, let me start my spiel over. Help me remember my lines. Ahem. Welcome to Daffodil Peak, home of the legendary mountain sage. You'll find the sage at the peak of the mountain. Alright, I'll open the mountain path. Have a good climb, Mario.
Whoa, thanks for the help, Mario. I was searching for the Fable Mountain Sage, but I got jumped by a group of shy guys. To add insult to injury, I never found the Mountain Sage. Maybe he's on vacation. Ah, what's your deal? Uh, I fell off a cliff and creased my leg. It's pretty bad. Eee, let's see if we can help him. Oh, Mari, you fixed my leg. Thanks. Tell one of the Purple Rescue Squad pouring for duty. Now, if you excuse me, I must report to my squad leader and Ruddy Road immediately.
Oh, there's an unfurl block. There must be something around here with an unfurl mark on it then. Let's look around for it. Ah, Mario, I didn't expect to see you here. I'd love to stick around and sweep the floor with you, but I got places to be, lives to ruin, you know how it is for us big wigs. But I suppose I could leave you with a little taste of my Koopa magics. Time for my Koopa magics. Yee! <laughs> Hit the spinning blocks to stop them. Match three of the same icon to get a fancy prize.
Oh, there's an unfurl mark here. Oh, oh, well met, Mario. I am the mountain sage of Daffodil Peak. Bah, just playing. I'm just a regular old toe. Sorry to get your hopes up. I paid all that money for a permit and then busted my shroom all the way up here for nothing. But on the bright side, I did get to see one of those mini paint star things. And you can't beat the view from up here. Anyway, happy trails. So there is no mountain sage? Shenanigans we've been had. Mario, let's go give the gatekeeper a piece of our mind. After we grab the mini paint star, of course. Let's go to Daffodil Peak and give that lying gatekeeper a piece of our mind. Hey, Liarface, there's no mountain sage. You just made it up to sell tickets to your boring mountain. Whoa, whoa, keep your lid on. The mountain sage isn't real. I'm as disappointed as you are. Why, you thought he was real too? Yes, I believe in my heart of hearts that the mountain sage was real, though I can't remember why I was so convinced. Come to think of it, I can't remember anything before accepting this gatekeeper job. The last thing I remember is the park ranger bringing me here after finding me stranded on the mountain top. And it was the ranger who said the mountain sage was real. Do you think he lied to us? Hold on a minute, I didn't lie to anyone. There is a mountain sage here. I've seen him with my own eyes. Really? Because we hiked all the way to the peak and all we found was some cheesy carnival cutout. Hey, kids love that cutout. Look, I haven't seen the sage in a while, but he used to train on the mountaintop. You gotta believe me, if rumors get out that I made up the mountain sage thing, my business is done for. Hmm, I don't know. I think both of these guys are telling the truth, Mario. I'm not lying, swear on my spores. Now let's just keep this quiet and try to find the mountain sage. I wonder what happened to the mountain sage. My mind's a complete blank, I got no idea. Eureka, I remember everything. 
The color missing from my head must have damaged my memory. I am one of the chosen toes, the divine few imbued with great power. I spend my days training on the mountaintop, waiting for my destiny to take shape. You train on the mountaintop? So that means... Yes, I am the sage of the mountain. Great, so there really is a mountain sage. But you lost your memory. Are you still able to use the power of the chosen toads? Good question, young one. Behold the power of the chosen. Usually we chosen toes aren't meant to use our power for such savagery, but I have some aggression to work out today. They must have snuck up and drained my head while I was meditating, the Miss Grits. Wow, color me impressed. Remind me to stay on your good side. Hey, do you know anything about the big paint star? We're looking for them. The world is vast, young one. I am but a toad. I see no such paint star, but it is a chosen toad's duty to serve those in need. Our path across for a reason, there's no doubt about that. Perhaps I am the key to unlocking your true potential. No, it turns out that I'm just the key to unlocking some random door. Well, okay, I guess. I'll meet you at the Crimson Tower, young one. Oh man, now I have to find a new gatekeeper. Well, I guess I've been demoted. Thanks a ton, Mountain Sage. You enter an alternate dimension of invisible things. Reveal as many things as you can within the time limit.
Welcome to the sacred. Welcome to the Scarlet Gate, Mario. Though it's not so scarlet anymore. No, I'm afraid that his bold red color has been drained. Also, it's locked. What am I supposed to call it now? The plain gate? The vanilla gate? Just adding gate to another word seems kind of dumb. I'm guessing it won't open until we repaint it. Yeah, but that's a big paint job. I don't have. I don't even think my whole squad could get it done. My squad, I'm late. Now the squad leader is going to shish kebab me. Tell two of the purple rusty squad, reporting for duty. Now, you excuse me, I must report to my squad leader and ready road immediately. This really is a big paint job. There's no way we can do it alone. Let's just focus on finding more paint stars. We can deal with this later. Hey Mario, great time. You got new mail. Mr. Mario, thank you for showing me your illustration card collection the other day. Since you possess such a magnificent collection, I was wondering you might help me out with something. I wait you in the Action Command Dojo in the Yellow District, the car conditioner, the car connoisseur toad. And here's another new letter for you. Exciting. Hey, big bro, it's a Luigi again. You know, your brother with the L on his hat. You ever read the explanations on your... Thing cards? I know you're not a the type to read directions, but you might a find a hint about when to use them. Remember you can always reread all letters. Just open the menu, tap items, and then tap the mail icon. A customer? Yeah, I haven't had a customer in ages. Oh, never mind. It's just you, Mari. Well, that sells it. Time to close up shop and give up on my dream. Yeah, I, yeah, I guess we did squash all of your client, clientele. But come to think of it, there was someone looking for a cafe like this. Oh, and isn't that convenient? Here he is, right here. It's the barista from Prisma Cafe. Oh, this place is perfect. No people around at all. This is a real sad mess of a cafe. Hey, will you be interested in switching cafes with me? You could take my cafe in Port Prisma. It's always been my dream to be a suffering cafe owner. Just barely scraping by. Uh, what? But the Prisma Cafe is world famous. You got customers out of the years. 
I mean, if you really want this place, then yeah, I'll trade with you. Beautiful. Thanks for telling me about this cafe, Mario. This should cover your fender. This should cover your fender's fee. Awesome. Starting today, I'm the prop proprietor. Awesome. Starting today, I'm the proprietor of the Prisma Cafe. I'm gonna work my steam off. The sign being upside down, the sign being upside upside down really adds to the dumpy uh, uh, aesthetic. It's perfect. Roll call, one, two, three. All purple squaddies present and accounted for. Yeah, only because Mario caught them slacking off. Er, yes, and it looks like we need to help out Mario now. Purple rescue toes, commence operation, step it up. You're on, Mario. Mission accomplished. Mario, you should be able to scale the cliff now. Go for it. Oh, Mario, you restore my color. Thanks so much. I've got to run. Places to be. Good luck out there. Mario, we've been waiting. The three chosen toes have assembled. It's time to fulfill our destiny. Uh, nothing's happening. But it is written in the book of hitting things with hammers. Hey Mario, think you could give us a little oomph like some kapow, you know what I mean? It worked, but the toads are gone. Thank you for your sacrifice, chosen toads. I'll tell my children and my children's children's parents about you. 
We're still alive. You were really just going to smoosh us and leave? Go make your faith in the Crimson Tower, young ones. Take care. I hope you find the big paint star for justice. Wow. Oh, why? Ah, happened. Mario, what? How? Oh, this? It's all bone white. I'm gonna be sick. What do we even do? There's no way we can paint all of this with your little hammer. No offense. But this is, we're done. We can't do anything here. Huh? What's that? Dang it, Johnson. I told you to pull the up the anchor. Hey, you down there. Think you could unsnag our anchor pretty please? You okay, Mario? We managed to get on the ship. This is our chance. Let's hijack this thing and take that bucket of paint back. Mario, how do you get on this ship? We got a stowaway here, boys. Get him. That's not good. Maybe we should keep one of them around the pile of this thing. Mario, I'll try to stabilize the ship. Go after the bucket. There must be a switch or something to release it. Three, two, one. Oh, scrap.
Why even have a self-destruct button on your airship? That's just bad engineering. But it's all good because the Crimson Tower is crimson again. It's probably be it probably be pretty rough in there, Mario. Maybe we should restock, restock our cars before we go in. And the know-it-all toad in the trash can and poor person can tell us if we need anything special. All right, everyone, this is Baseball Boy signing off. Tune in next video recording sessions. I'll be exploring the Crimson Tower and getting my first big paint star in the game and also fighting more bosses in this game and exploring more new worlds in this game. Later!